2011. Mm-hmm. I was in Boston still. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was in college. Mm-hmm. I don't really remember these. I remember everyone kind of shitting their pants though. Were these um? Bro, these were the, they came out for holiday, right? Came yeah. out for Christmas. Yeah, that's. Is that the holiday shoe now? They're just always going to do an eleven. Yes, <clears throat> that's correct. Yeah. They, <laughs> yes. Wait, <laughs> I don't know why I think that's funny, but like, <laughs> yo, know, some Jesus and some Concords. That's hilarious. <laughs> correct. Yes. <laughs> yo, Jesus walking on water on Concords. <laughs> Fucking fire, dude. Correct. That's what they should have done. Uh, I guess there's no air bubble for the the. Uh, you make an air bubble. You could make an air you bubble. You make an air bubble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Turtle Dove number nine. Oh yeah, we're looking at the. What are we looking at right now? So, um, are we recording? Yeah, we're we're going. Just, yeah. Oh, we're just all right. Well, okay. Well, yeah. Let's let's do that. Let's save. I mean, let's not start like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wanna, want to get into reset? it. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Let's let's. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because I want. This, I'm, so, a, this I'm is a minute in. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is a discussion. <laughs> yeah. Well, what well, sub podcast eighty eight eighty eight. 88. I'm Chris Cheney. To my yeah. right, we got Lou Trevisi. To my forward-ish diagonal, we got LZD325, Lawrence the Guy. You already know. Yep. The Kombucha King. Whoa, thank so, you for the plug. Yeah, the yeah, Supreme yeah, yeah. Hat Goddess. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> the the man with the... Stop it. <laughs> did, Stop. You, did you get the dumbbells? The dumbbells. Uh, from Supreme? No, week? I did not. I wanted the dumb. They were selling five pound. Five dumbbell. pound dumbbells. Yeah, I know. Retarded. It's gold the dumbest and shit. Silver. I wanted a gold pair so bad. Mm-hmm. You would actually use those to work out. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's right in like that's in the range of where I could work. I could work out for like five six months solid I was with doing those. five pound dumbbells. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all get jacked off of five pound dumbbells. <laughs> you get ripped off of five, <laughs> five pound, pound supreme dumbbells. Five pound supreme. Yo, it's who my the fuck, fuck is buying supreme dumbbells and using people them? Will. Yeah, I know people will, but who? I need to meet the, these people. The world. I need to I need to speak to these people. Like Every, what are you going to do with these? People? Everyone but not the sub guys. They're statues, man. I I understand the irony of buying them cuz right. they are like paperweights. Mm-hmm. It's like the brick, it's like any other thing, but yeah. like who actively wants those? That's weird. People do, bro. I want them so I can work out and flex at the same time. You you want to flex while, while I'm flexing. flexing. Exactly. Whoa! That's the whole point. Flexing while flexing? Do you know you are not the first person to come up with that? No, I, yeah, that I, makes for sure. sense. You know, you know how many rappers have probably come out with, with flex while flexing? They were like supreme dumbbells. Fle- yeah, it checks out, The man. dub flex? The double flex, man. Flexing while flexing. Flexing while flexing. flexing, while yeah. flexing. That's fire. <laughs> All right, so if we're not starting with this list, where are we starting? What do you ah, what do? do we want to start with? Yeah, we're not <laughs> gonna start with the 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 hype, most hype shoes of the decade. I think that's something we gotta ease our way into, yeah. which is an amazing. Uh, it's it's an amazing thing because you know we are coming to the end of the decade. But let's start with. Uh, <laughs> Chris showed me a video, and I know this is usually you know we usually don't get into shit like this on, up top, but Elon Musk has a, a cyber truck. Yeah, it's Yo, a weird so cyber he, truck. Yeah, thing. he came out with the fucking um car from Halo Two. Yeah, there's a car pull up the Warhog from, from Halo Two. See now we gotta get a little little T V screen going. Yeah, we're we got a screen going, but no, we're in, this is just audio though. They're not gonna hear I know, but I'm just happy with it. <laughs> for Warthog, us. Warthog Halo. Halo. Yeah, my man So yeah Yo <laughs> nuts. I mean that is look, look this car this is insane. Mm-hmm. We're we're looking at the cyber truck right now. This is ridiculous. So he premiered this. Uh huh. This Laura Croft breast version of a car. Yes. And fucking PlayStation One. Yeah. PS PS One. PS One Laura Croft boobs. Not Xbox One. He, it drops over seven hundred million dollars in stock because of this. Yeah. This is like when Homer. Remember that episode? Homer met his brother and he got to make a car. I don't remember that episode. Do you know you know what I'm talking about? His brother's like rich and he makes yeah, yeah his yeah, brother's yeah, loaded yeah, yeah. and then he's like yo let me make a car. So his brother lets him design a car and it's like the dumbest the looking dumbest car. Oh yeah, I think I yeah. do remember the, the <laughs> yeah, car. This is Homer's car. Yeah, this is like Homer Simpson revealing the 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 shitty uh, donut car, whatever the fuck he called that shit. Oh, I do remember that one. Yes. You know what's really funny though is like this overreact because it's a complete overreaction. I bet that car drives great. I bet, drives I bet. great, but the the window just you know couldn't. The window's yeah. a window. Well, so you know what probably happened is that it was probably a prototype that wasn't meant to be to, tested. Okay, it was probably just meant to show features. Mm-hmm. Right, and you were probably supposed to only tell people 
that the glass is like bulletproof. Honestly, or whatever. with Elon Musk, he's such a weird monster. Here's I'm doing the spin again. I'm thinking they plan this. <laughs> no, where wow. they're taking a dive in the stocks so that people are talking about it. Mm-hmm. I don't think people would have talked about it if it worked. Should we all buy stock? <laughs> Tesla right in now? Tesla right now? Yes, absolutely. Because it's going to go back up. It's going to go back up. Hell yeah. Because once this shit gets worked, all the kinks work, get worked out, boom. Raising. So anyway, guys, yeah, this this Cybertruck is nuts. But I bet this drives amazing. I bet this is one of the best cars of all time. <laughs> it's probably a real comfy ride. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at that. But yeah, man, this, I don't know. Well, you know what really annoys me, though, is like when blogs that we read yeah. for like cl- information on sneakers post about cars. Why? Because I, I mean, you, just because if you got nice sneakers, you should have a decent, yeah, a decent car. No, my car is my sneakers. I don't have. You know what I'm talking well, about? That's like, because we live in because we York. live in New York. Yeah, yeah, but it's like who, like who's buying that? That also owns Red Octobers. Like nobody. No. That Venn no, diagram. No, no, no. Come I, on. No, disagree. I disagree too. I could be wrong on this. I think the Venn diagram is right in the middle of that. Yeah, dude. I can. I can agree. Yeah. This is the hype shit of the cars, man. Yeah, it is, bro. Yeah, but nobody that really cares about the shit we care about is going to buy that. I disagree, you know, I disagree bro. I disagree. All right, well, tell us in the Discord if I'm stupid. You, well. They do already. No, <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence getting active in the fucking Discord. Yeah, you're level two now. You're level two. I, three. I, level, I level three? He's level oh, three. Oh, you're level three? He's level three. He's oh, waiting man, for level God, four. God right? is great, man. All right. <laughs> do you want to talk about, speaking of God is great. Kanye West? Kanye West, baby. Well, let's. yeah, we could talk a little bit about Ye. Uh, a couple of days ago uh, was the nine-year anniversary of My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Right. Which, on, in another listicle, got album of the decade. It, it, which, in my opinion, it might be album of ever. Uh, it is, <laughs> yeah, it's really it good. It is amazing. It's his Back best to album. front. It's it really is, good. It is amazing. It is one of the, the most well-put-together albums, and I think it doesn't get the full credit it deserves mm-hmm. because Kanye leaked Damn near every song. Yep. With Good Friday. Good Friday. With Good Friday. And if he re- just released that album mm-hmm. in November, I think it was November. What's today? Today's the twenty second. Uh, what's today's today? Today is As we're recording. Saturday. Yeah, twenty third. Twenty third. So I think it. Yeah. So it's like November twenty second or whatever. If he just released it on that day, right. or maybe had a sing, had power as the lead single. Right. Yeah. And and if he just dropped it, it would have been mind blown but we heard so many of the songs yeah yeah but still i mean to this day you know all of the lights uh runaway yeah you know i just i and literally because of the album i literally just rewatched his uh saturday night live performance of uh runaway uh with pusher t when pusher came it was the all yeah. white background oh that the red suit and kanye's wearing the red suit with yeah. the red uh louis v- louis vuitton yeah. uh the uh the dons and um and i just remember and i'm like this is you know 30 year old 32 year old kanye at the height of his you know his peak to me this is yeah. where this is where it was like god damn he was a genius C- coming back uh that was the first time he re- came back from the taylor swift thing right taylor yeah. swift thing happened and then that was like his first performance since then well it was it was the first uh it was the beginning of the comeback because the taylor yeah. swift thing happened in uh the fall around summer or fall of 2009 and then uh, you really didn't hear much from him because he went back into yeah. the booth to create My Beautiful Dark. Did yeah, he perform Runaways at the VMAs the next year, if I'm not mistaken? So, yeah, so you, uh, so if the SNL had was around, you know, fall of 2010, right. he performed uh, Runaway a- at the VMAs. So, you know, so you also have to realize, and, you know, in that time, um, you know, it, it, he was hiding, but he was also... You know, he wasn't it, power. Was remember, power working. came out. Power came out in like May of 2010, and yeah. everyone was like, "God damn, this is a great song," and um, and that was just the beginning of this album, which I think is it's better than College Dropout. I just I yep. debate with people all the time, and I think College Dropout is an amazing album. Yeah. No, Dark Twist is easily his best. It's yeah, it's very hard to argue. Yeah, there's, there's, it's like all of the instrumentation from all of the previous albums, with all the lyricists, like it's all combined into one, like it's the big culmination, you know? Mm-hmm. It's the best. Wait, did I, did I tell the Hennessy story in Kanye on this podcast before? I'm not sure. I don't know. So he recorded that one in Hawaii, right? That's the Hawaii album? I believe so. Yeah. So at the time, I was interning slash like working at this place called the KDU, the Keystone Design Union. It's actually not far from my apartment. Like mm-hmm. we could walk there from here. Ooh. Um, yeah, this was 2000, 
Yeah, 2010. Wait, when did this come out? What, the album? Yeah. Two, November of 2010. Yeah, okay. So th- earlier that year, we were working on a Hennessy thing where it, it was like five different artists. It was like Questlove. Um, oh, shit, Questlove's in the house? Questlove. Each of them got a bottle, uh-huh. their own Hennessy bottle. So you know, like Cause did that Hennessy bottle. This is like yes. the precursor. I think Didn't this was Manny the first. Manny Pacquiao get one too. I don't remember Manny's, but like I think this was the first iteration of like this Hennessy collab like right. bottle thing or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, there was an artist as a musician, and then there was like a actual like a draw like an illustration artist that they would combine forces and they would make these. Uh, Tahinde Kahinde Wiley is that his name? There's a guy Kahinde Wiley. He's an artist. Uh huh. You guys have definitely seen his work, but you probably don't know him by name. Mm-hmm. He was working on a bottle with Kanye. Yeah. And everything was going great, apparently. I wasn't in Hawaii. I, everyone went to Hawaii to, like, they got this. Uh, they just make, missed Nikki, but they, like, heard the whole album before the shit came out or whatever. Okay. And um, I guess Kanye didn't know that Kahinde was gay. Mm-hmm. And when he found out he was gay, he, like, stopped working on the project. <laughs> he was. Uh, that's the story that I got from them. Allegedly. Allegedly. Oh, allegedly. It's all allegedly, bro. I don't so in, they were in Hawaii. They told Kanye that. Kahinde was gay. Right. It just came up somehow. I don't know. Like, it, they weren't just like, hey, they, they weren't Ooh. nudging him. But, you know, it was like, hey, yeah, some this guy is gay. And then he was like, oh. And then nothing. Allegedly. I, <laughs> I, I, I never heard that story. Allegedly, I don't know. I've never heard this story before. But uh, what we need to do is not get shot by the Illuminati. So, uh, <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, well, we, like I said, not even that. But <laughs> we. N- Ah, oh, Chris, you just put me in a hole, you son of a bitch. Um, <laughs> what I was going to say is, uh, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy is one of the best albums ever, but it's also one of the best albums of the decade. Yes. And I think our project uh, before the end of the year is to come out with our own list of the best uh, 10 albums or even five albums of the decade. Uh huh. Uh, any genre, uh, and just go from there. I think you're giving us homework, man. I'm giving us homework. <laughs> I think we need. I think okay, we need Mr. Deloach. Well, yeah, we should be doing like a list. Shit. Yeah, we should be. We, doing we should be doing a list because now the end of the decade is coming, and you yeah. see all these lists. Uh, ESPN does their their list of you know the best players of the decade. You know whether it was like LeBron and Katie and Kawhi and Kobe, and you know and now you're seeing all of these uh, sneaker. Uh, you're seeing all of these sneaker uh, lists, and uh, I was browsing the internet, and you know, and I saw that there was a end of the decade uh, most hyped uh, sneakers of the decade by Complex, uh-huh. which that's different than the best sneakers of the decade. Most hyped and best sneaker is two different categories. Two, two, two different, different categories. categories. Yeah, um, sure. two different categories. There, uh, there are a lot of sneakers that uh, that were i think are technically better but i think complex did a wonderful job at uh at putting the top 10 together uh and we're you know obviously and we're you all have the internet but i think us sup guys are going to review and yeah. talk about this list cuz i think this is very important man it's you know i think i just my opinion over should we just say the list and then we'll break it down each one uh yeah we can we could do you know what let's do let's just kind of go all right so then I'll just give a precursor here I think they're a little uh favorative of more recent sneakers and, but, and I'm not trying to take away from the other ones that are the ones that are on here that are more recent but I feel like they're giving a lot of love to ones that came out pretty recently okay and and to counterpoint that uh-huh. I will say that. Uh, within the last maybe three or four years, uh, the internet and mar- the way things have been marketed has caused the the hype in certain sneakers. I agree right. with you. I agree with so, that too. There should be some sort of inflation on hype, though. <laughs> well, <laughs> an inflation tax for hype. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, let's infl hype. <laughs> let's let's talk. Let's okay. look at the list real quick. Okay. Yeah. Right. Sure. Sure. So number ten. What do you want? You just want to break it down. All right, Lawrence, you could read each one. How well, it's the, it's the Air Jordan 11 Concord from 2011. Right. Yes. Let's, we have to specify that, okay? Yeah, the year is important because I was thrown off at first because I was like, there's no way this should be on here. No. But uh, then 2011, like, yeah, okay. Now, let's let's kind of each, you know, let's just kind of have a gentleman's d- discussion. Uh-huh. Do you guys think the 2011 uh, Air Jordan 11 Concord should be on the list? Yeah. I mean, because that was, that was huge in 2011. That was a, this was a big drop. It was. 
You're not. I'm not. You're not convinced. I'm not sold, man. Sorry. I'm what not. replaces this? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Well, you know, maybe we should go back after we go through the whole maybe thing. Maybe the Space Jams. Uh, Space Jams were the year before, from or 2000. No, 2012. Weren't they were they? 2012. I'm pretty sure. Let me look. No, 2012 was the Gammas, if I'm correct. No, maybe not the Gammas. No, that was. Uh, see, now. We, I think it's 2009. No, it's 2009. You're 2009. right. 2009. But no, then they mm, came out again. They came out again. Yeah, but they didn't. They came out again in what 2016. 16, yeah. They weren't as hyped the second time because they had the 45s on the back. Yeah. I, I will. I will say this mm-hmm. as a as a person. I I remember, and I ha- I'll say this. Yeah. They are. They belong there in terms of being hyped. Okay. I remember purchasing the 2000 edition. I had the 2000 when I was in high school, mm-hmm. and I remember getting a pair. From uh, man, it was Shoe Trends or it was uh, I forgot what website it was, but it was like I think it was Sneaker tr- Shoe Trends. They were selling them for I think I paid around three hundred dollars. This yeah. is when I was in college. I bought another pair, two thousand three, and um, I remember holding them. I was wearing them, but I held them. And two thousand eleven came rolling around. I remember that they announced that the the Concords were coming back out, and I can remember wearing the two thousand pair to a show, and yeah. I remember. This was in Harlem, and a bunch of dudes came up to me, and they was like, yo, you got them? And, and they were like, but these don't look right because the bottoms were yellow. Obviously, right. it's an 11-year-old sneaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just remember those dudes thinking that I was wearing fakes. At, yeah. But this was like, you know, this was, if the concourse came out December 20th, I was wearing them, you know, December 1st. And everyone was yeah. like, oh, you got fakes. And I was like, no, these are real. But I remember the hype of yeah. people camping out and going insane for a pair they sold out everywhere and when i say you know that's when i think jordan brand realized that we can produce more yeah than just the you know few hundred thousand that they released because now you get you know you get a pair of patent leather jordans for christmas and they're producing a million pairs yeah yeah because the height was so strong because the last time that they had this model was it was the uh what was it the, the count not the countdown pack but uh it was the uh where they had the the gold the black and gold sixes mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then they had those and that was 2006 yeah so wow. the hype on that i mean like i said i mean that <clears throat> That was one of the first ones that people I could just remember people getting killed. I'm not getting killed, but I remember people were fighting for this pair. Yeah. I don't. I remember in Boston a bunch of people were like shitting themselves over these, but I don't. I don't even remember where people were getting them. And they must have got them at like Concepts and Bodega and shit. But we had yeah, a, we had a mall in Queens that would always get <clears throat> filled up for for sneaker releases because we had a big Foot Locker there. Oh. Uh, that's why I remember. I remember the Space Jams when they came out, but that was like in high school when that was ha- when that was happening. So yeah. it was like I was right by the mm-hmm. mall. So you would go over there, find your buddies, smoke weed with your buddies, and then you would fucking go ahead. Uh, but I don't remember. I wasn't really around. I guess I wasn't really aware of the Elevens when they were coming out because I just remember lines. That's all I remember. That's all you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, oh, it was the defining moments pack. That's the yeah the DMP. Yeah, Ooh. yeah the DMP. <clears throat> but that's what I'm saying. Like now, you look at a pair of Elevens, you mm-hmm. know, and, and and you're like, all right, there's hype, obviously, because that's the yeah. Jordan Christmas shoe. Everyone, you know, the kids want the Christmas shoes. Yeah. But this particular one, and and I can remember, uh, I can remember the uh, Columbias. I can remember the Gammas. I can remember the uh, Bread Elevens, and they all came after the 2011 Concords. Yeah. But I remember vividly because that was my first year back in New York City. I lived right, in Rochester, right, right, right. and I yeah. I remember getting uh, the uh, countdown pack uh, Christmas ones, which was uh, they were black and red Elevens mm-hmm. and the uh, taxis, and I remember taxi twelves, and it came in the pack, and that's when and that was two thousand eight, and I remember Jordan Brown was like, "Fuck this, we can," because remember that was the that was when it first began where they started saying we could sell. Uh, patent, we could sell 11s for Christmas, yeah, and and make money off of it because before that, it, it 11s weren't, you know, they weren't being sold for holidays, and now right. every year it's just like we're gonna sell that. So me personally, I think it definitely belongs on the list. All right. These are the Jesus shoes. All right, these are. <laughs> and then all right, moving forward, number nine, which does make sense, turtle doves, three yes. fifties. Mm-hmm. So this was like the the Yeezy. 
This is the one everyone cared about first because there was a 750, which mm-hmm. everyone like because that was the first one. Everyone was like, "Oh shit!" But then these were the first one I think people actually liked because the 750 was cool. But everyone was like, "It's kind of high." Like everyone was like, just hyped. It was a Kanye shoe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I don't think anyone was practically thinking about like wearing them. I think they were just trying to own them. Does that make sense? Makes a lot yeah, of sense. Yeah, like collectors. Yeah. It uh, also a lot of people were unable to even get access to the the 750s when mm-hmm. they first when they first came out. Right. Because that was the shoe that was it was All Star Weekend shoe. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was only in New York basically, mm-hmm. and it was only at a couple of places. I remember Dover Street had had them, but they that was when Adidas debuted the app. Yeah, and I confirmed. remember I remember confirmed, and everyone was excited. They were like, "Yeah, we're gonna fucking get these seven fifties All Star Weekend." And I remember the app just crashing. It yep. was so bad. It was terrible. It was awful. I remember that too because I was. It was one of the first apps I downloaded involving sneakers. Yes. And I, I was trying to make it where I was like, "Yo, what the fuck?" Because sneakers and confirmed came out around the same time. Sneakers came out first, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. Okay. I went to the launch party. They definitely were around the same time. Yeah, for 2015 sure. All Star Weekend. I yeah. remember. Yeah. I remember that's when. Uh, the the chrome phone posits the old, remember the chrome yeah, yeah, they yeah. were the reflect yeah. the mirror joints or whatever the sure. chrome mm-hmm. and I can remember people trying to purchase the chrome phone posits on Nike dot com through the labs app and I was one of the people and then people that use the app were able just to breeze through yeah Ooh. and that was when you know so Adidas had this app where you can confirm a pair yeah. and hold a pair but sneakers was you was able to they actually order yeah order, order it, it through your phone. And uh, turtle doves are definitely had a lot of hype behind it. I remember mm-hmm. they, I, I we talked about it earlier. They released the same day as the shattered backboards, yep. yeah, shattered backboard ones. And I remember people being at Barney's, mm-hmm. uh, which is closing down. Ooh. And I remember people mobbing Nike Town, which were there around three blocks from each other at the time. And there was just a lot of hype. But then a lot of people were like, I, "These are just like Roshis." I remember a lot of people get mad at a lot of. Like my my friends because they were doing dumb shit in them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there was like a there was a skate and Yeezys hashtag that came out like right when these came out and people <laughs> were getting mad because people were skating in Yeezys. And then my my friend Dion Point from Concepts, mm-hmm. he took a photo of them in a pool. Mm-hmm. So he was like sitting on the ledge and had the, the Yeezys in the water. And he took a picture of it oh and God. he got flamed. Really flamed for fucking doing that shit because uh. they were like, "What's wrong with you?" Do-? Like everyone, he he because he's the general manager of the store, so he just gets the shoes. He doesn't oh. give a, he doesn't really shoes give a fuck. to him. Yeah, they're actual shoes, shoes to him. To him. Yeah, yeah, Isn't that great. So they, like all of like people like us going like, yeah. "Yo, what the fuck? Yo, we need that shit." Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, he got roasted, bro. Then right. going on from there. So, so you guys, so you agree they, the three yeah, fifties belong in there? That okay. makes sense. No I'm still here. not completely sold on the Concords, but I mean, I'm not. I am yeah. sold on Concords, guys. I, I am. I, I don't know. as a guy who saw it, I yeah. who was there, who was here. I am straight up sold on. Concords. All right, these I agree with because I was there. Okay, I was there for these. This I'm is. not even. Cons- uh, maybe I am. I don't know. The, the, number eight is the Wurtherspoons. I don't. There were a lot of hype, but these were weird hype. These were weird hype. These ruined. This ruined my fucking day at a, <laughs> at the store. Mm-hmm. I'll never forget that. That it just left a, a lasting impression. Because you, you're used to hearing, you're used to hearing nerds fucking call you up about fucking. Hey, do you have the new Spider-Man book? That's worth fifty dollars already online. No, we don't. Get the fuck away, away from me. And then I got these fucking kids calling me like, "Yo, do you have the Wurtherspoons Air Max tickets?" I'm like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Mm-hmm. I was like, "I am not Nike. Get the fuck away from." And Why my, would they think you had? Because we our store was giving them away. So yeah, we're we're Luke work. Uh, Wurtherspoon they had a uh, they had a thing where you can oh, get tickets right. to get yeah. yeah the Air Max. I think this. I think a shoe and. Let's also say this: when a shoe, the amount of hype a shoe generates to yeah. me is how many non-sneaker heads, quote unquote, people who are, yeah. I love sneakers. How many casual fans can go crazy for a sneaker? And this sneaker did this, bring yeah, a lot it, of casual yes, people it did. out of the woodworks. And it's whether it's the colors, it's the blocking the, on the so, on, you know, on material the corduroy, yes. the corduroy, the fact that it had to do with uh, Air Max Day. Mm-hmm. Because remember, there's been many sneakers on Air Max Day yeah. that did not garner the amount of yeah. hype that 
this did. Did, anything, true. did anything blow up this year from Air Max Day? No, because no, right? they were like late and shit. Remember, like yeah, they were mad yeah, delayed. Yeah, yeah. Well, they did the uh, the city series, so Seoul. That's and right. Yeah, the Seoul. That's right. This the but it was Par- like not the Paris. The Seouls definitely did well. But what didn't they drop in Shanghai's? April? Yeah. Well, they dropped. They dropped after Air Max yeah. Day. Yeah. Right. But uh, it, and but this is just. I mean, this got the this the, the hype started with the shoe mm-hmm. when Sean did a a, uh, a friends and, not a friends and family but a limited edition run through in Virginia. Right. And I can remember the New York City resellers going to Virginia to get as many sneakers as they could. Yeah. And I remember lines being shut down in Virginia, and Complex Con uh, got some, and. Dude, the, like I said, I know some. Whenever I wear yeah. my pair, right? Non people are like, "Oh, I know those." I like when a, yeah, when yeah, a person's yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. And you, you just remember, like, round two was like selling their own shoe mm-hmm. for a like they the shoe was what one forty one fifty. Round two was selling them shits for like seven eight hundred dollars immediately. Yeah. Well, you know what? Okay, I think I to to me hype is pre release. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I if we're th- if we're thinking pre-release, I don't know if I'm on board because this really got flowing after it, they came out. It did. It did fly under the radar. It did, not, as, no, not as not as drastic not. as like Here, the Sakai's did because when the Sakai's came out, because no one was talking about those at all, and then they dropped it, and everyone was like, "Oh shit!" I'm not saying like that because these definitely had a wave behind them. But had a big wave. Wait, yeah, I, but the wave only got bigger after they dropped. No, they definitely got bigger after they dropped, and I w- I will rescind my previous statement trying to agree with you because I'm thinking about it and they were getting we were getting calls from our store because it's the other location that w- that had the tickets for for the for the words comic book sort of good yeah yeah okay yeah so we called you know they called us up after a while and they were like you gotta tell these kids to stop coming to the store because mm-hmm. we're we're there's a line out the door mm-hmm. and it's uh we're already out you know mm-hmm. and uh yeah it was very busy that day for sure yeah I very believe busy it. that day so i don't i don't know if we're saying hype in general, like as the whole shoe, I can get on board with this. But pre, if because in my definition, it's like before they drop. I don't know if this should be on here because there was a mm-hmm. lot of shoes that people cared about that when they dropped, they kind of fizzled out. Right. Mm-hmm. But there was a lot of hype pre-release. Does that make there sense? Was a lot of hype on these pre-release, bro. Yeah, but I'm there's like other ones that I feel like I don't know. We'll go through the full list and then maybe I'll redact. But mm-hmm. I kind of feel I don't know. But no, these definitely were a hype shoe. I'm not trying to take Super away from hype, it's Super fucking hype. crazy hype, bro. Um. And then number fucking seven, which, uh, yeah, this makes sense. It's the Travis this Scott. very much makes sense. Highs. Mm-hmm. Makes no goddamn sense why I don't think we even so really high. need to kind of explain these. We were all here. <laughs> oh, we're, uh, 30 uh, people got fired from Kith for it. It was great. <laughs> yeah. Did you know about that? No, I did not. Yeah. they. Uh, my buddy works at Kith, uh, and he told me that uh, the Brooklyn location, they were, they were uh, what do you call it? They were hoarding sneakers. Okay. And uh, the bosses caught them because they were, uh, what do you call it? They were holding off like 60 pairs of sneakers. Okay. And they were like, ah, dude, what are you, uh, what are you guys doing? I thought it was like one, one each, you know? Yeah, not 60. Like one of these, not fucking, you know, makes, two, three each. Makes sense. I have yeah, they were trying friend, to backdoor them, man. I have a friend who had a connect at that said, lo- at said store. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> and we were having a conversation um, about a month ago, and he said that his connect is no longer employed. They got at caught. Said store. They got caught. Um I will say this about Kith. And yeah. um I think Kith is one of the, a lot of these boutiques backdoor mm-hmm. pairs, of whole course. pairs yeah. for you know VIP, you know. I mean, sure. you know, I've Absolutely. been I've been in situations, you know, at different stores where people have I'm not mad about it, for sure. But yeah. Well, I'm not mad about it just because I work in retail. Mm-hmm. I know what that's like. Mm-hmm. That is your payment. That is your under the table payment for working. It's for part of a perk with, in working at one of those stores. It, that's all mm-hmm. you have, you yeah. know. Because if you really think about it, like you're com- like they work kind of off commissions, and mm-hmm. it's like you know your average item over there is gonna be like one fifty, one sixty. So you mm-hmm. make a decent commission. You'll you'll walk away at the end of the year with like maybe you know a decent like fifty thousand dollars a mm-hmm. year. But, like, the shoes are, like, the whole reason you're there. Yeah. You know, the shoes are the whole reason you're there. You have to deal with Taurus all the time. Mm-hmm. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare, you know? Now, do you, real quick, I'm sorry, do you think that Travis Scott's 
belong on this list. Yeah, definitely. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Okay. I think I'll, so. I'll, um, I'm, yeah. A- after the Grammys, they, Nike mm-hmm. did a shock drop. Yeah, mm-hmm. those, yeah. People were clamoring for those sneakers. They did all the right things. With this Travis one. was on tour, Astro World, and I think they figured out the. Yeah, I think they've definitely figured out the formula for hype sneakers. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now, I mean, now we're gonna keep going down the list. Number six, Off White Air Jordan, Chicago. Uh, Air Jordan One Chicago. Hey, this is just a placeholder for any of the ten, really. You know, no, no, not for any not of the ten. For, for the, the Prestos, for sure. Um, I think I think Chicago's had way more hype behind them than mm-hmm. Prestos. Okay. Um, Chicago's were seated to a lot of celebrities from such as whether it was Drake, Beyonce, Michael Jordan himself got a pair. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Virgil was writing Air behind it. Wouldn't you love to see? The look on Jordan's face when he got a pair of these. Oh, he was probably so mad. He was like, "What the fuck? I can't play basketball in these. <laughs> this is stupid." Um, <laughs> I, I think the yeah. I, think I never thought about that. Yeah, he was definitely pissed. He, he was like, pissed. What the fuck is he, this dude doing to right. my shit? Could you imagine? Uh, I don't know if he was pissed. I think he was. Come pissed. on. Jo- oh, the guy who is so selfish and so so much of a winner that he said "fuck them kids" <laughs> and stayed in bed. I don't know. I, I don't know, man. These these definitely, uh, had but this a- also says "fuck them kids" in a different way. It kind of does. <laughs> like, he literally would like uh, sold he, you half a shoe. That's true. He took apart the shoe and put it back together and was like, "Look, <laughs> look, we did a thing." He's like, "How much you charging for this?" <laughs> okay, fuck them kids. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know you know the "fuck them kids" story, right? Uh, wh- With MJ, you know. I probably I. I uh, he was supposed to. He was like, if you, who said that? Like, they were at a camp, and he was like, if you hit this three pointer okay. or whatever, uh, all the kids get free sneakers. Uh-huh. And then he misses, and he goes, fuck the kids. Because <laughs> he didn't want to give them sneakers. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> He's the goat. <laughs> he is the goat. He's the goat. He's the fucking goat. But yeah, I, this also makes sense, too. Yes. I, I mean, yeah, this this kind of represents all of those shoes. But yeah, this is most the hype one out of all of those. I think this is the most hype one. It's and the pinnacle. I, it's uh, it was Roger Federer had a pair. Mm-hmm. It, it was uh, definitely done properly. Yeah. And now you look at a pair of sneakers that that are people are selling for six seven grand. It's astronomical on, on that one. Nuts, dude. On on the ten. What's the what was the the retail value on that? Two forty? No, it was uh one ninety plus tax. Woo! I know. Seven grand. But see, all right, so Le- to to keep going with the list. Okay. Number five, mm-hmm. the LeBron 8 South Beach, which also was 2011. I remember these more than I do the Concords. Yeah. I remember people shitting themselves over these because it was just when LeBron went to Miami. Yeah. So they gave a, the Miami color to this. This is like the hype yeah. Miami color. This, South I, Beach was the shit. This is in 2011. This is 2010. Complex got this one wrong. So 2010. Fact shoe. check them. Fact check them. So it's a 2010 oh, comp, uh, shoe. Fact check. Cover me while I look. 2010. You got it. 2010. Who, who's uh, who's number 88? We didn't we didn't do that today. I think we can go Michael Irvin. I believe. Michael Irving. I think he's number 80, 88. Mm, very nice. Oh, of course. Now my internet decides to fucking be a little bitch. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. No, so uh, you know, I'm gonna give up on that pretty quickly because yeah. I don't think my internet's really having it right now. But luckily, this is already loaded. It's okay. Um. Well, well, hold well on. good Let's... on good on you, sir. Yeah. See, they they put the year 2011, but it was uh, it was 2010 mm. because it yeah. I'm treating the best after. Yeah, best but I just remember because there was the uh, he had that whole <laughs> ESPN lead up thing to then tell everybody that he was going to Miami. Dude, my friends and I legitimately believed in our hearts that he was coming to the Knicks. <laughs> Dude, we- everyone in New York always thinks everyone's going to the Knicks because they everyone loves us, man. No one likes the Knicks. I mm. everyone loves us. No one likes the Knicks. I'm I looked up you at Lawrence for help and he doesn't care because he no. knows he no one cares even, about the Knicks. He doesn't Dude. even care the Knicks about the Knicks. Stay they will always stink. How dare you? <laughs> yeah, this shoe, um, I think this one kind of surprised people in terms of how how much, how much well it was going to do. Yeah. Because you didn't, I mean, back then, mm-hmm. what's the best way to put this? Back then, basketball shoes, this is the type of shoe that would do well in the early 2010s. Okay. Yeah, no, exactly. And, and yeah. It, it had the perfect storm. It was... He went to Miami. He's, yeah. you there know. was the whole lead up to get. That's what I was saying. There was like he had a mm. like a rollout 
for not just for not these sneakers specifically, but these like kind of um, like were the cherry on top of the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like he announced that he was going to announce something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so then there was a, what was it like a, he announced like a week beforehand. So everyone for a week. I remember Sports Center was just like, "What is he going to do? Where is he going to go?" Every 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 day for a week, and Sports Center was like, Whoa, "What's going on?" So then he finally like announces it. Doesn't tell anybody, but on that program. So then everyone fucking remember mm. people were burning his jersey. Yes. Yes. All that. That's so then the first time. finally he gets over there. Then you know Dwayne Wade they they get the three or whatever. And then all of a sudden they're like, "Yo, we got South Beach, whatever." It just added to the whole thing. Yeah. I think that LeBron outside Nike shit got this to be the hype thing. Because like you said, this wasn't yeah. something that necessarily everyone was like. Well, he, oh, was, shit. he was the villain of the NBA yeah. at this at this point, yeah. you know. And then, but they did. I mean, the the colorway I think was one of those colorways that as we as we see with like Kanye sneakers with Red Octobers or this sneaker will always be synonymous with LeBron James. Yeah, South yeah. Beach. So any sneakers going forward, mm-hmm. whether it's this, if it's that colorway, that teal colorway, it's always going to be. A LeBron sneaker. Yeah. Is, I think it. It definitely. It definitely was more hype than. I think the Concords honestly were more hype though. Yeah. Than than the South Beaches. And I I'm, just. I remember more of the South Beach than I do the Concord. Bro, I. I mean, once again, yeah. that's you know you. Yeah. I would flip mm-hmm. the Concords with the, because Concords really with the South Beach. I think Concords had so much <clears throat> hype behind them. I think these are right where they're supposed to be. They are. Uh, number four, Nike Foam Posit uh, One Galaxies. Yeah, these Bro, were, these I were was good. I was barely into sneakers, like into any basketball shoes at the time or any like just high sneaker at the time, and we were still making jokes about the fucking galaxies. Complex, baby, you got your years wrong. This is a 2012 sneaker, baby. This is they definitely got, a 12. Year. This they got a 2011. Ding them again, man. yeah, man. Yo, if we get one more ding, we're we're taking over Complex. We're taking we over. Complex. We have to fight Matt Welty. Oh, we'll fight him, dude. All Star Weekend, All Star Weekend, 2012 in Orlando, man. Mm-hmm. Dudes were going crazy. I remember yeah. shut down. Mer- Yo, Mercer got. Sh- 21 Mercer in New yeah. York got shut down so many times mm-hmm. because of shoes like this. Yep. And I remember it was All-Star Weekend. Everyone was going, dudes in Florida were fucking going crazy. Yeah. This is when phone posits were at the height of yeah. where th- from around 20, nine, t- 2008, 2009 to around 2013, yeah. 14, phone posits were the shit they yeah. were insane and the galaxies supreme were touched them the, yeah supreme touched them mm-hmm. the galaxies were yeah the it shoe i mean they were dudes were selling them for around 15 1600 off from yep. the, from the top from the start yep. someone like yep. offered their car for a pair it's like yeah three? number three i'm surprised this one is three well well, well see, all yeah. right so they're they're cheating with the years things again you can't have both years on there well this one's 2106 so that means we own this fucking company oh, yeah, now. It says 2106. You incompetent yeah. complex <laughs> motherfuckers Yo, guess what stink. we own the company now matt welty you blow dude fucking matt welty <laughs> i'm fighting you right now no i'm sure you're nice buddy yeah <laughs> you're I mean, a nice guy you just made some mistakes yeah you definitely have to have one year and it's definitely 2011 yes. and if we're taking if we're not uh-huh. 2010, 2012. Now that I'm thinking about it, was a fucking year for to, for sneakers. For sneakers, for sure. Yeah. Well, I think I think the 2016 ones had a little bit more. They had, hype. They had the auto lace. They had the auto lace and had more hype behind it. The no, f- no, because the 20 yeah. was the 2011 was the the 2011s were the Michael J. Fox ones. The yeah. like the charity ones. They were the ones you had to bid on eBay. On B- eBay, yeah, for? yeah. No, that's like crazy hype. Those were a lot of hype. Those were they, no, no they were a lot of hype. But I think. I think people remember with uh, with uh, the twenty uh, sixteen or whatever the mm-hmm. ones that just re- recently released. Yeah, I think you just had to donate uh, money. Uh, you know, every, it was a raffle. Every, right? It was a raffle. Yeah. So every raffle that you, every you know, ten dollars or whatever you put in was right. a ticket. So I think people, how many people were genuinely trying to bid four or five thousand dollars for a pair of Air Mags? I mean, 2000- there was a lot of people donating a lot of money. Yeah, I understand that. But what I'm saying to you is, you say, <laughs> "All right, in 2011, there's you know they're raffling, auctioning off ten pairs a day or t- thirty pairs a day on eBay, yeah. and each pair is being bid on for five thousand dollars." Right. How many average Joes? <laughs> like you know, how many people are saying, "Oh, let me spend three grand." On or five grand today on a pair of Air Max. I asked my mom if we could borrow, if I could borrow the money. <laughs> I'm, I'm straight up. Is there, yeah. I was like, Ma, 
It's six thousand dollars. I will pay you back over the next five <laughs> years. years. No, it's I years. am good for the money. You're you know, money. I'm good for the money. I'll mm-hmm. give you an extra like hundred dollars for my paycheck every year, like yeah. every every month. Taking and a loan she, up for your mom is crazy. And she was like, <laughs> "For shoot, sure, no, no, get the fuck out of here." And no. I was like, "You're an idiot. You're in, these." Oh, I knew these were gonna be fucking amazing. Nah, I think I you think, know what's the fucking fucked up part? I would have worn the shit out of them too. Oh yeah, I would have disrespected those shoes. Yeah, I, you fuck it. I would wear them to the yeah. ground. I yeah, love wearing I'd, my I'd shoes. Wear, I'd here. wear those a lot. <laughs> I would oh wear them so God. much. I think yeah, not too many people. Uh, you have been photoed in <laughs> yeah. Air Max. I pulled my mom to the computer and I was like, I want these shoes so Kate, bad. Kate Cuddy, not yeah. many though. Uh, no, yes, Pete it, Davidson wore a pair. That's right, Pete Davidson wore a pair for, to the Bieber roast, which is dumb. In a suit. In a suit. Yes, it's that's kind of fire. All right. I don't know. Number two. Adidas Yeezy Boost 750. Yeah. Wait, we didn't. We didn't. So what? What are we saying is the more hype of the two of the? I say 2011. I say 2016. I'm going with 11. I say 16 because the 11s were like, oh Mm. shit, this is like it's a shoe, so it made it the possibility. But the 16s were when when it was like auto lacing. Fucking get the fuck out of it. See, I think they're cheating with that, and and they're putting both years because. 16 only had residual hype from 11. No, because that was that was uh it was the same hype then they just no, added the auto. It lease. was what was it the what was it's it a the, huge difference. Though. It was a user it was like an anniversary like of, of, of back, back to the, the future. Well, they or were back late to the future on it. too. It's, it was supposed to be 2015 but they were late and they came out in 16. Yeah, cuz fucking you know. Yeah, but I mean bro, the fact that they had the auto the actual auto lacing which was which is it's now the, That's the shoe. That's the shoe. That's the I shoe. understand. Yeah. That, but I'm still I'm still 11, but we can agree to disagree. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, we're not, we're not going. Yeah, that's what we're, we're, we're having a debate. Yeah, but yeah. you know, you know, I think the 2016s have you know, more. Uh, yeah. Tell us in the Discord which one you guys think is for hype. Yeah, more. 2011 or 2016. <clears throat> and then this one, um, I agree should be on the list, but I still this is too high. With the Adidas mm-hmm. Easy Boost 750, the first shoe on Adidas with Ye as the curator. Uh, I mean, there there was a lot of. People talking about this shoe, and yeah. it was the it was it was following up Red October, so there's a lot of hype right. around it, and so many leaks, so many fucking weird different leaks. I like, there mm-hmm. was a picture of these that came out like a year beforehand, but no one believed. Was it was, was that because uh, Kanye was wearing them, right? No, he was holding them. If I'm remembering the picture correctly, he was holding. It was him and another dude at a computer, and he was holding them. And he had um, them like they were kind of flappy, right at the time. I yeah, I mean. I don't remember exactly, but there were th- yeah, these were nuts. Yeah, 2015. Yeah, th- yeah, this was, this was off of the, off of the fucking hype train, man. I would switch turtle dubs in these though, in the order. Ooh, no. Okay. I would keep, I, I wouldn't only because these I, are the initial shoes. Yeah, these were the, the initial initial shoes, and these were the the turtle doves. Yeah, uh, were hyped, but yeah. I I can just remember. That shattered backboard, and I say this: shattered backboards had, if not the same, a little bit maybe more hype. Like so, the the turtle doves fought shattered backboards on the yeah, same yeah, yeah. day in mm-hmm. June of twenty fifteen. But these, they rolled out an app. This was the first Adidas Kanye. Yeah. So, the the hype was insane, and. It was it was different. It was like what the fu- like we we were used to air. We were used to the Nike kitchen that you know they were using. But once again, I mean, when yeah, this was this is definitely up there. I don't I I can't say that there's a shoe that had more hype behind mm-hmm. it except for the number one shoe. Yeah, which I definitely agree with. The the, the number one shoe, of course. Of course, it's red. The Octobers. fucking red Octobers. We talk about these these goddamn shoes every six, like three weeks on the podcast. Mm-hmm. Lawrence tells you every time. You remember where you were. <laughs> yep. <laughs> everyone remembers. Them. Everyone remembers. Everyone where everyone remembers where they were, what they were doing when Nike sent out the tweet. Lawrence is going to be an old man on a stoop one day, telling the children, telling his children about yo about, man, get off my lawn. But also red Octobers. Yeah. You were everyone knew. <laughs> New York. New York was going through uh York like work. they had released the uh, Kobe Prelude series. I remember mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then the uh the Tiffany High Dunks released the day before. Ooh, and ooh, I Papa can re- I remember you know playing ball yeah with my boys 
and dudes just yelled out, yo, the Red October's just dropped. Everyone just stopped. Stopped what they're doing. Ran to their phones <laughs> and it, it was one of the uh it was one of the craziest because the way that the shoes were teased. Yeah. Yeezy's on your sofa. Mm-hmm. These the red Octobers. October. Uh-huh. You know, he, he was on TV, he was on SNL wearing them. It, everyone knew that that uh Nike and Kanye had, you know, they were done. They were donezo. He had this was he, it. He had agreed to go to Adidas a couple like a month or two before. Yep. These were the bowing out shoes. These were the shoes that had no publicity. Yeah. Not publicity, but there was, you know, it was a shock drop. Yep. And that was it. But they were hyped like a motherfucker. Now, guys, we've gone through the list, right? Yeah. Um, is there a shoe that you think belongs on there? Um, I was trying to think about it, and I don't know why, but for some reason the uh, f- uh, Supreme Faux Posits really stick out to me. But mm-hmm. there's not a shoe on here that I would replace them with. But I guess maybe like an honorable mention because those Supreme Foam Posits, yeah, the up tempos, uh, up tempos too, up tempos. I'm just trying to think of like because I it was, it was surprising to me there was no Supreme drops on here at all, but the up tempos and the Foam Posits had a lot of shit behind them. <sighs> hmm. I don't think you. I think there's only maybe two shoes that am off the top of my head I can think that have some type of hype uh, yep. but I don't think maybe one shoe should be on there but I don't know what you could take off which, yeah which one what are you thinking uh, the of? first the two that came to my mind Cause Force oh uh, yeah true. they had a lot of hype behind it yeah uh, a lot of people <clears throat> you know were a lot of people were excited about Cause Force they were very Hard to get the gray ones, not the black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The gray ones for sure. The gray ones, yeah. and then the one that I lived through was the uh, Fragment Air Jordan one. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say Fragment too. Fragment's yeah. not on here at all. Uh, Fragment Air Jordan ones, to me, belong there. And if you're gonna put, they belong. They're not above the off white uh-huh. ones, but they're in that same realm as sure. Travis Scott. Yeah, and, and I rem- It was Christmas. And dudes were going crazy because they were super limited. Mm-hmm. And I just remember watching. I remember I watched a guy get sl- sl- stabbed or sliced, yeah. you know, for them. And and that to me, uh, they were hyped all across the country. People yeah. were just trying to figure out where can I get these fragment air drill ones. Yeah, what's and, good with these? And and all it is is you know a lot of people say it's a it's a black toe black toe with with a uh, royal blue royal black blue, yeah. black toe. But I think that is one of those sneakers that. Um, had a, a lot of hype behind it. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, those types of collabs are my favorite too. Like the stamp of approval. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all all the brands that just put their shit on it and leave it alone. That's my favorite type of collab too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like a life does them. Fucking Supreme does it A-Life once in a while. Then they got real fancy with shit. Now it's kind of over A-Life the top. Has but some classy collabs. Yeah, A-Life. yeah, but just a little, you know, just uh, yeah. you know what else is uh, should be up. I mean, it's not up there. See, it's it's hard to say because I think. Uh huh. Certain sneakers are hyped, yeah. But then a lot of these sneakers bought in casual people, like we discussed. Yeah, right. So your definition of having casual people care, I like that. I like, yeah, that's a very because good we point. care about shit that no one else cares about. There you go. Right. That's why, like, I care about the walk the dogs, but I don't know why. You know, <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Go. Like, we nobody <laughs> can tell you why. Yeah, like I really care about Reebok pumps, and everyone's like, well, yeah. they still make those white there widows, baby. <laughs> It, Somebody tell me they're white widows on des- Discord. And I want those too. It's one of it's what I think a shoe that you know from anyone that is a uh, a, uh, a grown man to a, a woman to yeah. a kid to just the, the person who's like yo I I want those shits like each one of these shoes that in con in complex did a really good job to me yeah at identifying shoes that everyone yeah the horrible job identifying the year but they did a great job. <laughs> With, uh, Who the fuck made this list? <laughs> oh, reading the comments is hilarious. Did we just collectively agree to forget about NMDs? Ultra Boost is superior. I mean, yeah, look, NMDs, that was a moment. That wasn't... CDB, CDP pack dropped in 2008, actually. Come on, y'all. Canary Diamond SBs? No, okay. they, that person should die on a fucking... Okay. See, someone, and someone wrote that the Off-White Chicago should be much higher on the list. No, disagree. You're a child. I don't... <laughs> Yeah, you, no. They're, the off-white Chicago. If they're if, right if where you, they deserve to if, be. If yeah, where 
<laughs> Someone wrote, "How the fuck did the Supreme, Supreme Foams not make this?" Okay, Dude, the Supreme Foams. Okay, added- Boomer. Okay, Boomer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I somehow I am the oldest person on this podcast. I don't know how. How I have the old head mentality, though. You do? <laughs> Apparently, Disagree. I'm the Boomer. <laughs> I guess so. Let, let's discuss this though. These uh, goddamn Zoomers. <laughs> a lot of the a lot of the shoes that uh, mm-hmm. that made this list <laughs> were in the. Uh, Latter or the later half of the of decade. The decade, yeah. And it also goes to show you with the the increase of social media, yeah. right? How hyped these uh, shoes are. Yeah. How, you know, because the the Concords are in 2011, right? And to me, there was you didn't need a social media rollout. They were just hyped. They were Christmas yeah. shoes. They were the beginning of Air Jordan deciding that we're going to release. Pair uh, 11s. 11s and Christmas is it. That's it, all you need. Yeah. They're synonymous with each other. Yeah, and that's when 11s per, arguably were everyone's number one shoe. Yes. At least on the Jordan Nike on list. On the Jordan Nike mm-hmm. list. The the South Beaches are also the beginning half of the decade. Yeah. yeah. And there wasn't Instagram to boost it. And they were also basketball sneakers. Now, I believe that they were super hyped. Yeah. But I don't, I think you can flip flop the concords in them to me yeah because the they were hype but i, I you know I, and i don't know and i and also now i do want to ask you guys a question are there any shoes from 2012 11 and 2010 that you can remember that should possibly be on this list i'd have to think about it i might have to come back yeah i'd have that's to come a, back i would have to really think we about should, yeah that. we should do our we should own do, we should our do own decade homework. list yeah, yeah. yeah. Do our own decade list i'm i'm not i'm not opposed to that at all let's uh, do that guys this is uh yeah we're coming to the end of the decade and yeah we'll we'll make some lists we should do like yeah we'll make a couple lists we'll figure it out but we should be doing that shit yeah we're should be doing that shit yeah okay. we're flying by um, we gotta do a little more than just this list. Yeah, we definitely do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause do you want to talk? Can we talk about these these fucking the super uh, the what do you call it? SB dunks? The highs? Yeah, we can talk about that. The SB space. Dunks. Oh fucking! I blanked for a second. Well, you know what? That's another shoe that came out this decade. The old, the lows, the lows, the space, the space jam, jam lows. lows. Yeah, mm-hmm. SBs. That went, them shits were, they were fucking hype as shit because that was the first time they did the space jam treatment on another shoe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So everyone was kind of freaking out about those too. Um, dude, look at these 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 space jam. The space jam. Also, I when l- did the Liberty Dunks come out? Oh, Liberty right, Dunks. Well, hopefully, my internet's working. Okay. I don't think your internet's working right here. I don't think. Because we got definitely some... not. What else you got? I just want to. I, I guess there's really not much to talk about with these with these. Oh wow! Yeah, what year did these come out? My internet's fucking no, crispy right no now. No shot. No shot there. What year did these come out? No way they came out in, in the past decade. I thought they came out earlier no, than they that. Came, they came out. They might have came out like eight? 09 or something. Eight, maybe. Why doesn't it say where they fucking came out, you assholes? Let's go to details. Oh, all right. <laughs> 2011. Yeah. Dude, these wow. were hype as shit. But they weren't. They weren't hype. They, no. they weren't hype to the point where... No, yes, you're correct. No. Uh, let me pull back a little bit. You're right. But yeah. these, I remember, see, I remember these way more than I do the 11s also. <laughs> Maybe it's, it also must be a regional thing, too, because Boston, like, yeah, I because I actually don't remember a lot of 11s in Boston. Mm-hmm. When I saw a dude in 11s, I was like, oh, interesting. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so regionally, like, New York, it must have been different. So I can concede to that point. Mm-hmm. Bro, it's not just New York, bro. It's it's fucking Detroit. It's Indiana. It's no, no, no. Kansas I, City. I'm saying, I'm what I'm saying is maybe Boston was like not on the eleven shit. Where I was just like, mm-hmm. oh, too many know. white people. <laughs> <laughs> like those maybe. goddamn flashy shoes that those Negroes <laughs> wearing. <laughs> you gonna put leather on your shoes? Come on, get out of here, Why boy. Why are your shoes so shiny? <laughs> Shine my shoes, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's. <laughs> let's uh, We're getting ridiculous here. Let's, let's, yeah. let's talk about something now. I'm, I'm excited. excited about. I'm excited to tell you about the Space Jam highs. That's all I can say about them. Go. I want them. I want a pair. Yeah, I, I like these fucking, shoes look too. Look at them. They're like Jordan One tops with fucking. Yeah, Space someone's Jam getting bottoms. married in these things. Who? What happened? Someone's getting married in these. Things. I am me to your <laughs> to Ariana Grande <laughs> tomorrow. It's the last thing. We when's need the, now. When's the release date? They are coming out November twenty seventh. Yeah, next week. Yeah, fucking. I will. I, what are they retail? One ten's not bad. One ten is so fair. That's that's skateboarding sneaker price, yo. Fuck yes, dude. Bring back skateboarding sneakers. 
All right, let's let's talk about some. Speaking of uh, releases that are mm-hmm. possibly brewing, Mars Yard uh, 2.0 restock. That possibly is, what? That's your shoe, bro. That is. Uh, I wrote that down because I because I wanted to let you know. Like you got a chance I to know. get your shoe. Oh, you know. <laughs> so what's the deal? Like let's yeah. talk. Like can you? Uh, Do we have it? Find on the, the Mars Yards. Because the fucking mess yeah, it's there, buddy. <laughs> that is a shoe yeah. that uh needs to be yeah, needs to be uh released. Uh, so after Lawrence and I, I we've mentioned this a couple times, but after Lawrence and I did our CBS sports thing, we were at Stadium Goods, one of the um things we filmed in there. He just wanted to try them on just because he was like, These are the shoes I'm buying if I get money. I don't well, blame you, man. Uh, yeah, it's it's one of those shoes that I just I kick myself for Yeah. Um for not purchasing when I should have purchased. And um, let's kind of, let me just, hold on, Chris, you're going a little too fast. Oh, sorry. Uh, we just making sounds. I don't want to Okay, so it's no solid information has surfaced. Sneaker insiders are noting that the restock will feature a slightly updated design and limited to 8,000 pairs worldwide. Insiders are also saying that the redesign is enough for the re-release to receive a new model code. The model code note uh, is also leading many to begin calling the release 3.0 iteration of the Tom Sachs Mars Oh, Marjor. no. Uh, listen, <laughs> Why are you I saying, oh, no? This. Well, these are not a restock, then. No. Uh, I think we might... Are we going to get another three shattered backboard 3.0 situation? Well, what's interesting, too, is, and we reported on it before, they're doing a full kids run of the f- 2.0s. I thought that was released already. They released already. Yeah, but we were talking about how they did a full. How there's going to be so a now, bath for those. Yeah. yeah. They do the kids and these. then and then these. Threes. I, I will say this. Yeah. If there is a 3.0 uh-huh. <laughs> and they don't change too much of it, uh-huh. I will. And Pulling out all the plugs? I'm call, If it's 8,000 pairs, I mean, that's not Oof, a lot. That's, that's not, very. But that's it's a also bad not, starting point. There's been less quantity attainable like that's not horrible seen eight thousand no, that's, that's pretty terrible, low bro yeah. that's low but it's not the lowest you know oh, what i mean the aliens secretly dropped last week too oh the 380s yeah the 380s dropped last week oh yeah I remember. were you were you around for that no I wasn't. see uh you know discord was blowing the up discord the discord was blowing up we my boys my asian guys were asian in boys there. my asian guys were in there letting y'all know that the <laughs> drop happened Mm. So you gotta get in there if you you like sneakers. You fucking yeah, get yeah. in there, dog. I'm just saying the aliens dropped and they put out the list of the of of the uh, of the numbers mm-hmm. of the stock and it was around the same. Mm-hmm. It was around mm-hmm. around eight thousand, I would think. Yeah, right? eight thousand is a good number, dude. It's a pretty solid number. It's not a great number. I'm not saying it's like not ideal, but that's a number when you look at it, you're like, okay, I could be one of eight thousand people. Oh, listen, I and I will say this: if the shoe is. <laughs> Even you want to go have these on a bot, dog? I'm, no, I, I, listen, I, I am going to get a pair. I, yeah. I don't, listen, at this point. I wish you guys could see Lawrence's face right no, now. No, he's, he's so, like, so serious. I, these are probably one of my favorite sneakers <laughs> ever. Like, in, of in all terms time. of, yeah, and just in terms of simplicity, color mm-hmm. blocking, just everything about this shoe. I'm like, you know, I, and I, I, I have some really nice sneakers that I love. Yeah. But I think these are just so solid. Yes. Uh, speaking of solid sneakers, uh, <laughs> Off White Air Jordan Five, we saw a uh, a uh, was it a, a like a sample? Yeah. 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 So we yeah we saw a, a sample image that you you sent to us mm-hmm. in the yeah. group chat. Um, now we were kind of privy to this information beforehand, but we didn't say anything because yeah. I you know. I'm not trying to get anybody in trouble. Yeah. But uh, so we had why, already. Then why even say that? Well, then because now they're out, so it's fine. Yeah. Okay. I mean, this is not new information anymore. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I'm We're just not, saying that we no, we 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 knew that. Yeah, I yeah. knew that. But yeah, I'm just we knew what was was going on with them. But yeah, so we had a conversation in, in like off mics about these shoes. We yeah, flex, but okay. Yeah, well, come on, you gotta let them know a little. Are bit. you kidding, dude? This whole thing, let them know. this whole thing is a flex inside a flex. I know, right? <laughs> flex inside a flex. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> oh, oh, did flex. you guys just find out about the fives? We knew about them. Yeah, we, uh, we fucking knew about them. Well, come so on now, because we just saw. Illustrator cat. So we yeah. saw the. We didn't see. We just saw like the design. Yeah, we saw the design. So mm-hmm. now that you've seen them, because you liked them just as the cat, You're right? What do you think about them now, Al? Well, I mean, obviously, this is still uh, this is still a sample. This is not. Yeah, how the and final it's not version. the greatest image of the shoe. I know. It yeah, isn't. it's not how the final shoe is going to look. Mm-hmm. It's probably pretty close to that. If it is, 
It's a little weird. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. That's what I was saying to you guys before. Like, there's no reason to have just random holes in shoes. Well, yeah. I don't mind the holes, but I just don't like the the way the color and, and like you know, it's like looks super flimsy. Yeah, it did not look good. Yeah, it and probably has something to do with the holes in them. <laughs> 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 if, if I had to, if I had to guess, I had to really pontificate here. <laughs> I think it's the holes that really fuck up the structure of the shoe. But what do I know? What do you know? What do I know? Um, no, so what it looks like um, was, uh, y- yeah, they had like a film over the whole shoe. Right. It, it, di- it didn't seem like, in the CAD, mm-hmm. it seemed like it was broken up. Yeah, It was yeah, different yeah. materials. But in this, it looked like a flush material. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm not really on board. There's also uh, another color uh, that goes along with that black one yeah, that's in the photo. So yeah. mm-hmm. if that's what he's doing, though, this is, I think, where it starts to die down. You think this is the this is the end this of an era? This is the beginning of the end. Well, of the no, tent. I think the the vapor was it vapor streets vapor that just Street. came out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think those were were the start. It was the fucking knocking on the coffin, man. Well, I think I think what we're gonna say is in terms of hype, it's still an Air Jordan model. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it's the Air Jordan off white. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it's still going to be extremely hyped. Oh yeah, yeah it's it will sell. It'll, it'll do sell. everything that a, a shoe at that caliber will do. But I'm yes. not. I'm it's bored. not gonna it's not gonna make a list. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> no, that one's not a making a list. <laughs> But it's definitely we have to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give Virgil a little bit more credit and say, hey, let's see what comes yeah. of it. Uh, I would have preferred a Jordan three that was supposed to be a quote. It was originally people were saying that was gonna be part of the ten. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not the biggest Jordan five fan. Me neither. But I will give it a shot and just see how it looks when the final. Yeah, I'll wait till we see the official one. I don't. He, so he has. A, he has. He's done weird themes so far, and right. I think he's going to start running out of ideas. Because the first one was to take apart the shoe and put it back together. That's uh-huh. the deconstructed thing. Right. Right. Um, this iteration, well, the second one was the, the, let's just add another lacing system to the whole thing. Right. Mm-hmm. The verge wire shit, dumb as shit. Uh, so now he's just hole punching things. Mm-hmm. Right. Because even the box on the, um, what were the, the, the things that look like a giant dog comb? Which ones are those? The runners? He just uh, came the out with? Well, both, yeah, 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 both yeah, yeah. Those and the other ones have the... Yeah, they have the the bottom the the cleat material. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. But those have holes in the box too. Mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. know if you guys have seen a box. No, so, yes, yeah, so they have holes. In the, he's just putting holes in shit. The purse, you fucking the purse things thing? that need structure. He's just putting holes well, in. Right. So I mean, like, if you look at his ideas um, at a at a very what surface if he's level, trying to tell us that acid causes holes in our brains, so we should stop doing it. Whoa! <laughs> Are you okay, Luke? Uh, do, you, do you need to hug? Him? I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, you sure? I'm really fine. <laughs> no, but if you take his ideas yeah. and look at him at the very surface level, uh huh, he's he can't do yeah, this he's, forever. He's running out. For so sure. it's like take the shoe apart, put it back together. That was one genius. Add another lacing system. That was two. That's this one stretch. Put holes in it. Three. All right. So what is he gonna do for the fourth one? Like, there's only so Astro many dumb turf. ideas you can get away with. Kelp before. shoes, <laughs> seaweed shoes. He's gonna do it before Kanye. No, like, uh, what, the next one's all going to be Velcro. He's going to have Velcro versions of every yeah, shoe. No. Oh, fire. <laughs> <laughs> of course you would say oh fire. Oh, my God. Oh, Some the, Velcro ones. The 65-year-old Asian dad in me fucking jumped for joy. That's true. That Just, would be... That would be the p- ultimate hilarious. dad shoes. Or like, ultimate... he makes them all platform shoes, so like the soles are three inches each. <laughs> so, like, like that's, that's the level of idea that he comes yeah, with. that's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, an Air Jordan 1 with a fucking three-inch platform... In Asian sizes, oh, you're gonna make bank. <laughs> you would love that. You're gonna make bank. Yeah. I would be, I'd be five foot nine. I'd be five foot nine. It would change my life forever, Lawrence. Speaking, do you of understand? That. You don't understand. What are you, six three? Six one. Six one. Fuck you. I'm six two, but yeah, six one. Oh, someone say six two. Someone say fuck you, Lawrence. I'm trying my best over here at five six. Five six. He's so small. Five six. He needs air drum with pick, platforms. You can pick me up with no problem. <laughs> Why did you say that? All right. Speak, <laughs> speaking of uh, Asian sizing, uh, if you're in our Discord, uh, yeah. Luke today asked the question, did anyone get the- uh, The G-Dragons. The G-Dragons G in. Uh, yeah. He says size nine, which I want to reply and say, you mean Asian sizing? But I did not do that. Yeah. I said Asian shoe and Asian sizing. A- oh, you did say Asian shoe, Asian sizing. Yeah, yeah, Okay. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I looked at the- At first, I was like, wow, I like the shoe. Right. When it starts to peel apart and you get the graphic, yeah. I hate it. Really? I'm the opposite. You are the opposite. I'm the opposite. I don't like the graphic once you peel apart the black. It makes sense because it's very K-pop. The whole what's, thing is very this? aesthetic. Like Aesthetically, it's very much with the theme of the entire show. Okay. I know? wish the soul was clean. 
Yeah, me too. I did not. I do not like the soul I, having I mean, the scuff. I don't get that. I've said this numerous times. Yeah. I want my shoes to be brand new. Don't get, sell me a dirty shoe. Yeah, you know what I mean. Didn't Gucci do that recently? Everyone's done yeah. it. Like uh, Margella, like microwaved mm-hmm. a sneaker and tried mm-hmm. to sell it to us. It's a it's a weird thing. Yeah, give me a clean shoe. But I'm with you. I don't like you. Don't like the the peel away yeah. thing. No, no. I, yeah, I like it for this shoe specifically. Uh, you guys are very against scratch and sniff sh- sneakers. We've made it clear on the no, podcast. I was just, oh, I, dude, I was just bigging up the Liberty Dunks. That's true. I have I have Lance Mountains that I love. You just don't like the you didn't like the SBs that came out recently, the Jordan One SBs, the uh, Lakers, all the uh, the New York, the, sh- yeah, uh, the LA, the Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I have I have the Lance Mountains and exactly. I don't mind them. Like, right, you know. I'm not saying uh, for me to own. I think whoever gets the like. What those shoes are, who those shoes are meant for, mm. it's perfect. Really? It's for the K-pop fan yeah. that, like, they love all of that, like, kind of, like, the whole aesthetic of the shoe mm. is very much like a K-pop music video. Got you. Where it's, like, everything's kind of fast, everything's kind of, like, mm-hmm. muddied, and it's just, like, it's just a sensory overload. Got you. So it makes sense exactly for that shoe, which is why I was like, okay, this makes sense now. This this is why it's a G Dragon shoe. Got you. You know, it's amazing shit we don't know about. Well, it's amazing shit we don't know about. Exactly. <laughs> this is yeah. This is me speaking as the Asian representative. It's yeah. just being like, no, trust me. This is <laughs> no, it's good. This is K-pop. Trust K-pop. me. <laughs> it's K-pop, baby. <laughs> Can uh, we own a K-pop band? I bet we could. You want to buy a a bunch of Korean boys? No, girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Well, that's worse, Luke. <laughs> no, worse. it's Let me not. Right now, that's We're gonna worse. give them sub podcast T-shirts. <laughs> Which are also on sale right now. Yeah, go to remember to be and it's holiday sale, guys. Please yeah. buy the fucking merch. Please yeah, yeah, buy the merch, baby. Uh, I don't know, you know, uh, I don't know how much. Yeah, we gotta. Wrap it up. Yeah, especially because the last one was short. Yeah. All right. Um. Uh, wait, I had a jumping off point. Um. We had something. You know what? Doesn't matter. What Great else? jumping off. Yeah, point. Yeah. I, <laughs> I fucked up. I had it and I lost it. Uh, well, well, I was gonna say for all the listeners out there, it is. When we release this episode, it's going to be Monday, and mm-hmm. then in a couple of days, it will be Thanksgiving. Yeah. It's true. Uh, which also leads me to my next point. Oh, Black Friday. Black Friday. Black Friday yep. sales. Yeah. Uh-huh. Everyone, if, you, if you're if you looking for basics mm-hmm. or sweatpants, hoodies, uh, now will be the time to, yep. to pop off. I know me. I'm excited because I know John Elliott's going to do... His yeah. sales, they're gonna do flash sales. Booming on his website. What, what's sale the what's up. the status of the Barney's? Uh, sale? That's what I was just about to get into right yeah. now. Uh, Barney's is as of today. Uh, today's what? Uh, August, uh, uh, November twenty third. August. August, yes. Yeah, I wish, bro. <laughs> I, I wish. do wish. November twenty third. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, it is ten percent with an additional ten percent off. Ooh. Um. Once again, Barney's is still playing chicken with me. Yeah. No, just make it twenty, dog. I hate when brands do that. Well, it's ten no, percent of ten percent. Well, there you the go. Same. So it's ten. Yeah, it's not the same because no. it's ten percent, and then you get the ten percent of that ten. Like you said, so yeah. Yeah. it comes out to around you know I'm gonna 15, say 15, 16, 16, something yeah. like that. Yeah. It's not percent. It's not twenty. It's just, just give us the twenty. I hate what they're these playing chicken, retailers. man. They're playing chicken because it's like just yo, squeezing every dime they can out of us. Wait till we. I'm waiting until we get to sixty. <laughs> yeah, when we get to sixty, 60 we're out. We out. Bags. Streets is out, yo. That's it. Fuck that, yo. That's a wrap. I'm waiting for the sixty to seventy percent off yeah. liquidation. We going to that Barney's. We going to the one in Boston. Mm-hmm. We going to the one <laughs> on 18th mm-hmm. and the, in the mm-hmm. West Village. Let <laughs> them know. We going to the <laughs> Main Street. <laughs> yeah, we going to all these fucking Barney's right. to fucking get what's owed to yeah. us, yo. Because they owe us. They, they need owe to us. owe us. for all the times my brothers got racially profiled in Barney's to the uh-huh. times when they overcharged me for motherfucking uh-huh. jeans uh-huh. In, yep. in the early in 2010. How dare the they? How dare they to the time when I had a Barney's credit card yeah. and those motherfuckers uh, made me spend a lot of money on the Barney's credit card. I want my shit. Yeah. <laughs> I want my stuff, Get your stuff Oh, man. wait. Here's an interesting question. I don't know if yeah. you guys have had this, but like for th- things like Thanksgiving, uh-huh. every time I roll up and it's all my family, they always go like, what's Chris wearing? Let's yeah. see his sneakers because he likes sneakers so much. Right. Mm-hmm. Do you guys have to deal with that shit? Like when you roll nah, up? And not really. No, not really. Yeah, my whole family goes just like, look at Chris. And then my mom... Who like is just so supportive, like knows yeah. the story because like I've I, you know she's like what's up with these? She knows all the shoes I own have yeah. a thing to them. Mm-hmm. So then like I go guys, this is fine, don't worry about it. But she goes, no, these ones are special edition because they're blah blah, and she just goes into the whole fucking. No, these thing. are the Seattle's. <laughs> yeah, is that mm-hmm. my mom? I don't know what your mom sounds like, dude. Mm-hmm. She's a small Irish Boston lady. We so yeah, that could mean anything. To so me. all right, Luke, ready? Go. Hey, Peter, <laughs> these are the Seattle's. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that wasn't bad. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, 
Uh, no, I don't get that. I oh. do get cousins coming coming up with. They they try to bring some heat. Every oh, now they do. Like, yeah, my cousins try to bring some heat. Oh yeah, because the collective. Yeah, because yeah. you guys a reunion of Asian hype beasts. <laughs> oh, it's the best. <laughs> it's the best. What do you got on Fear God raids? Fucking weak shit. What I got on <laughs> fucking shatter backboard ones? Suck my dick. <laughs> it's the worst. Oh, we didn't say what we were wearing today though. Cause the oh yeah. Likes that. Uh, I'll go first. Yeah, go first, buddy. Um, I got my Dak Streetwear fucking fleece. Uh, on and then I got my Dax sweatwear, uh, streetwear fucking sweats on. They are the comf. They're so comfy. Yeah, these are so. Uh, uh, a gentleman at Dax Streetwear sent us some clothing, and yeah. they're very fucking nice. They're very comfy. I like all the. There's pouches on them. There's. I have a cigarette pouch now on my pants, which is <laughs> everything that I've ever wanted. So Dax stands for Deluxe and Creative. Yes. yes. Uh, and then I'm wearing the uh, Puma Parallels, the the weekend EXO editions. I got on the Pump Bring Back 24 Kaladi uh, 20th Anniversary, I think these were from. Pumps, pumps. Yeah, they're, but they're Pump Bring Backs. Or tw- I forget, some anniversary edition. But yeah, these, these are great. Then I got Sample Levi Khakis on. Then I have uh, 10 Deep Pokemon Team Rocket collab hoodie. That uh, one's a very nice hoodie. I like this hoodie a lot. Yeah. And uh, it hooks perfectly with that orange on the sneakers. So. Yeah. I'm basically yeah. This is I'm gonna try to dress like a 14 year old forever, guys. Just yeah, go, go for it. <laughs> you figure <laughs> it out. What do you got, L? Um, I got on a pair of uh, duck camo uh, Air Max 90s from 2013. Always mm-hmm. fun to see. Mm-hmm. Always fun to see. Mm-hmm. Um, I got a polo bear Ralph Lauren hoodie. Sicky. Fly. Um, pair of black jeans. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm wearing uh this uh uh deluxe and creative uh. Uh, uh, denim jacket, which is uh very comfortable. I like it. It's uh yeah, definitely it's, uh, uses good material. Though. Definitely good material. Very nice stretch material. So mm-hmm. um yeah, that's what I got on tonight. And then you got your supreme hat. Don't forget supreme about that. Supreme hat. That's what you're known for yeah, in yeah. these it's streets. Supreme hat. Wearing yeah. a kombucha. Fucking wearing a supreme hat. There you go. Drink a kombucha. All right. Sorry to derail us like that, but they like they like thanked us in the yeah. Discord. They're like, thank you for telling us. No, <laughs> I, I know. I you know. Thank you. Appreciate right. you. Um, guys. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if we if we want to jump off here or you know do you guys have any final things you want to say? Or? Uh, Can we see the list? What do yeah. we got on here? Because there's maybe something I could try to squeeze in here. Um, oh no! Did you see that Crink is doing? Um, so Crink, if you guys don't know, uh-huh. is the marker brand. So Kr is a graffiti artist. Uh-huh. He made his own ink. So he called it Crank. K R Ink. Crank. I love He's it. He's doing a collab on marker set with the MTA, like an official. Oh, that's one. awesome. The fuck? Which is kind of insane. Okay. Because that's how Crank got famous was the trains. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, being a graffiti artist, one of the things you mainly hit was the trains. So it's just weird. So it's a weird it? history there. It's a very unlikely collab. More unlikely because like when Supreme did it, it's just a Supreme Metro card. Right. So we were more astounded that like, oh, they just let him. Do that? They're just giving the the MTA is giving us the tools to, to tag fuck up, up the train. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. So the, I, I mean, didn't think that one through, man. I don't know that. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Uh, I I meant to start off the podcast with this story, but uh-huh. uh, you got uh, yo. I I'm very. I was leaving um, Village Lantern because uh-huh. I brought the Rattaburger that we have uh, cheap for the show. Yeah, which come to the show, guys. If you're listening to this, it's tomorrow night. Yeah. Um, come me, through. Lawrence, and Al have a show. At uh, Village Lantern, we're gonna be the last Tuesday every month. Yeah. So I was bringing the Ratterburger to the show. Yeah. And then I got to the West Fourth. I dropped it off, going back to take the train. The West Fourth stairs going down. They were so slippery. Mm. Yo, I comically fucking mm. like think of like the worst tumble you could take on uh-huh. a staircase. My feet were f- immediately above my head. Oh my mm. god! Immediately above my head. I was That's wearing my great. fucking up tempo ninety fives right there. Not the ninety. Yeah, so those I'm not wearing those outside ever again while it's wet no. outside. That shit, yo, fucking flipped, landed on my backpack, but like my head first. That's how high I went oh, and quickly. God. Yeah, dude, the whole fucking subway stopped. Dude. Are you all right? Yeah, they were like, yo, because that's how crazy the fall was. Yeah. Luckily, like you know, things like my laptop caught my fucking head <laughs> in my ba- in my backpack. But yo, you gotta be careful out there. I'm not wearing anything that has, doesn't have some grips on the soles. Yep. Well, it's so slippery outside. It's, I, uh, it's dangerous in these I streets, I fucking guys. took a tumble. Yeah. This was literally, even the fucking lady in the glass was like, oh my God, are you okay? Like, she stopped me as I was going in. And those people don't care about anything. No. They hate everybody. <laughs> they hate everybody. But yeah. Actually so. They're stuck in a box all day. Um. Yeah, we, so wait, did we, did we talk about Dr. Dre and Kanye? Or do, you, do we not care about what? that? Uh, oh no, we didn't even talk about. 
Yeah, Kanye's gonna own the uh, has has another ranch. They're doing another live stream. They're doing a live stream tomorrow, right? Yeah, for our sat uh, so Sunday. Yeah, and then apparently he's doing Jesus is King too with Dr. Dre. So you know that's never coming out. That's never coming out. The no two shot. kings of uh, saying stuff and then having it not come out. <laughs> that, How yeah, funny is happening. that? They both were just like, uh, you don't want to just say this will happen. Yeah. Um, Chicks Tape Five is a good album. Listen to that. I'm just yeah. trying to see. Um. Yeah, let's just not force this. Oh, you know what else I found out too? So that network app. Yeah. That is Aaron from Agenda. Uh huh. So the the trade show, major streetwear trade show Agenda. Uh huh. And Jimmy Iovine are the guys who started that. Jimmy Iovine. Yeah. Because they hit me up. They were like, "Hey, do you want to like?" They were gauging my interest in working for them, but they're in uh -huh. LA, so I I was like, I want to stay in New York for comedy shit. Oh. Um. But then I was talking to the kid who hit me up, and he was like, "Oh yeah, it started by Jimmy Iovine and Aaron from Agenda." Crazy. That's how you know something's really getting fucked up when Jimmy Iovine. Jimmy Iovine's getting in this yeah, game. Like, come on, what are you doing, Ooh. Jimmy? But actually, I guess it started from they want to do that that idea with comic books though. He's, I guess his son's really into comic books. I fight him. Yeah, so they want to do a network, but for comics, not sh shoes. But it didn't work out. So Jimmy was like, "Oh, we'll just capitalize on yeah, these." Yeah, because nobody cares about capitalize on the hype. Nobody cares about sneak comic books like that. No, not anymore. No. Um, right. It's old man's game, but yeah, I guess that's it. That's yeah. not. Mm -hmm. I that's not. Yeah, we good. Yeah, we're yeah. good, man. Um, so sub podcast uh, NYC at Gmail at not that cheney dot com. Uh, uh, fucking at not that cheney at Trevisas at LZD three two five. Come to the show. Yeah. Come hang out. We're gonna get drinking cheap rat burger. Um, I'm having a good time. Having a great time. A wonderful. Time. And uh, I'm trying to think. Does anything else? Anything Bro. else want to plug? I'm good, man. All right, we good. All right, we good. Peace out, fuckers. Peace out.